Hello everybody, it's me, my hunter from MCOs Overloaded, and I'm continuing my episode 3. I did my intro there, I'm not quite sure why. So I'm continuing my episode 3, part 2. It's uh, about a week later. I continue doing some mining, I got a ton of iron. I still have 51 here, and I had a stack, I have a stack in there plus this. Got some lapis, got some redstone, got a ton more coal, a little bit of gold there. I think I actually, um, and I had to put this stuff away, so I'm gonna place down on the furnace here and start my gold up in this one here. I'm gonna grab um, some wood here and I'm gonna just make another chest for myself here. Okay, that to match up and you're right. I did not know it actually did that. I thought it just matched up no matter what. There we are. And let's just um finish filling up this chest. I probably still have room in it for stuff. I can throw this and this, 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 this. Got some rails in a in a chest of these rails. I also got a name tag and and a chest as well. Got some beetroot seeds, I'm probably gonna plant, plant those eventually. Pumpkin seeds, I don't really use those. Got some bread. I'll throw this dirt in here. I have five weed here, and I have some more weed growing. Give those torches. No cobblestone lapis. I got this for uh, sharpness three, I got fortune two, which I'll probably put on. Uh, Diamond PX once I get that going. I'm probably gonna start the strip mining soon. Um, you know. But I want to build a house, so first thing I'm actually gonna do is get some wood, grab some stone as well. I probably wanna get my. I have an iron pickaxe which I have been using. I think I'll just take it because. Why not? Um, I don't usually use a ton of iron pickaxes once it's going, but when is the sun's going down, but I probably still get a little bit of wood um, for it. I'm just gonna grab all my stuff that's grown here. So I can start getting some food, reliable food source here. Now, you can just start it up. I probably want to play with the beetroot soon. So, I'm gonna get some birch and I'm also gonna get some more oak. Then, I will go ahead and start cutting down some this. Yes, but I want to get some birch right now. I almost need for this whole start of oak trees because I've been using it. But, I'm gonna get some birch and oak. Um, and I'm probably gonna be reusing both. Just because I like burying the wood, it depends on kind of what room, usually if it's um, in the basement um, and, or a um, bedroom, I usually use dark oak. And um, probably for the for just the regular rooms, I'm going to be using birch just to kind of vary the wood type. Um, yeah, but I have, I have a dark oak forest, I also have a... Um, a, just a regular forest right next to me. That's super helpful. You know, I don't necessarily need spruce or jungle. I don't. I don't use either of those woods in construction, and these woods work just fine for everything else. So yeah. Anyway, I'm also gonna get some stone because I usually do some stuff with. Um, I need. I need just some stone in general. Um, and I also just. I don't want to. I don't want to try and cutting down a tree that's too high. And I also um, use some granite diorite um, and stuff like that for my basement. I might make the whole walls of um, uh, polished granite. You know, I'm gonna cut down these short trees over here, just like completely deforest this area of all oak trees here.
But yeah, I'm going to try building a house this episode. I'm not going to cut down this bay tree because cutting out big oak trees like that are just a pain. Okay, I'll punch this one. Takes a lot longer, but you know, I can do it. I'll make another axe eventually. But I think I have enough to start building uh, just a basic house. I'm going to connect it to my little hidey hole that I have right now. Um. I head over this way to get some stone and red I believe I will go head over to the mountains that are over that way just because carving the side of the mountain you can find what you're looking for pretty easily. Oh my cave just goes down there, there's a creeper down there. Yeah, but I did explore a little bit more. I said I met. I don't know if I mentioned that I. I was. I don't know if I said that I would stay in there, but I decided not to. I mined out almost everything there. So you know, there we go. Side of mountain. Oh, I need to eat. Oh, my screen just flashes. My screen is flashing, I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Hold on. Hold on, technical difficulties here. Oh, um, I might be accidentally um, paying my monitor's power a bit, so I will. My foot might have been hitting under my desk. I'll try to stop doing that. That must have been why I was doing that. Yeah, just carving out the side of this mountain. Yeah, get this granite too. Hopefully before the pickaxe runs out. I, I um, I usually don't use iron, but this is what I had when I was in the cave. I made one to get the gold. I just, um, you know, kept on using it because I wanted to get some more iron. I usually just use stone to the stone, just use stone, except unless I need something for iron, like the gold, lapis, and redstone that I mined out. So, yeah. I did find a lake of lava, but I have one right next to my house, so I don't think I really need to worry about that necessarily for um, obsidian. I'll just use the one. You know, is it still doing that? Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back up. I just had to go under my desk. The my monitor was a little bit unplugged, I think just slightly moving another cord. Um that was also plugged in might have done it. Oh, this is a lot of granite. Which is good because I'm gonna. Okay, I broke my PX. Got 47 granite, which will give me 47 smooth and polished granite. So I'm gonna go back with my 24 stone and my 47 granite. I mind more granite than I did stone. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make a stone PX for more than mining a stone. Yeah, because it's, you know. I'm re I kind of like using iron pieces to mine stuff that is, you know, a little bit more valuable than the actual iron. So well, let's get back before the sun sets completely. Oh, these are some torches that I put down. I ran back here, or I think it was last episode or something. I don't know. I think it's in one of my last two episodes, I believe. Or, or, well, not my last, my, 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 I don't think it was episode one. I was during um, one of my, you know, so let's just go and sleep here. Oh, don't want to break, don't want to break my bed, just want to sleep. All right, here we are. Let's get these sticks here, two sticks. I want to make some more. Look at that. Uh, and um, let's go here. 
Mm. So we got a stone axe. One there. And we got a stone pickaxe. And I got this, uh... Let's make another stone axe and another stone pickaxe. Whoa. One more of those. And one more of those. Alright. And I haven't not time this episode. I think I'm just gonna play for a while just till I see, see a bit to stop. Um, I'm gonna get some more wood this time here. Uh, I probably, uh, probably should start this here. Let's take this out. Boom. Let's put this in and let's take this out and let's put this in the chest. Right up. Boom. There we are. Look at some more wood. I can't go right over to the dark oak quite yet. Dark oak is usually pretty good. Uh, I don't know, I think one time I got a whole stack for one tree. They're, um, they're sometimes a pain to cut down, but you know, you know, sometimes. But I really like the color, I really like the doors that they make too. The doors are really nice, in my opinion. You can have whatever doors you like. Some people like um, jungle or acacia, uh, or you know, um, some people also like um, birch, and some people are just stick with oak. Sometimes I stick with oak, you know. But dark oak is my favorite type of door. But you can like any door that you want. I'm just telling you my preference and what I'm probably gonna be using on this house. And I'm gonna be making once I gather enough resources. I'm gathering resources right now, and. I probably will spend most of this episode gathering resources. My next episode, I probably will spend the whole episode building. Building is a pain, but, you know, it's something that you have to do. Well, sometimes it's a pain. You know, it usually takes a lot of resources. So many resources. Yeah, it usually takes a few stacks of wood, um, logs, so that's why I'm getting a ton of wood. Um, yeah. I'm gonna deforce this whole area pretty easily if I keep it up at this rate. That's the only tree that's gonna still stand. I also use that tree to help find my house, too. But, you know, it's nice that there are both oak and birch, and this is a pretty big forest. I haven't actually explored how big it is, but it seems decently large, so that's helpful. So I don't think I'll run out of wood anytime soon. I can just go running to get some more in here, so I don't need to plant a tree farm. I might eventually plant a tree farm once I get, once I feel like I, I don't want to run far to get wood. But, you know, eventually, the, thing, the only the tree farms are great, but you get a ton of wood when you get them. And I, you know, I never, I never find myself using all that, you know, if I cut down regularly, I don't, I never find myself using all the wood that I harvest from my tree farms. Back over to where I was getting my stone from and continue on with that. Finish off with the granite. Oop. After that, I'll finish off with the granite and then get some more regular stone. Yeah. Because the granite, it takes a lot to line my walls with granite in the basement, which I'm going to create because. I always, because basements are helpful for me with storing resources. 
I have some resources in my basement. You know, it's just a nice, easy place to store a ton of stuff. I just store all the, I just have a chest organized and all that in my basement. Just have a, usually have like um, a, a wall with uh, the two chests um in or in order, and each of those are for certain different types. You know, I have a miscellaneous. I have a um, cobblestone chest. I have. Uh, mining, which is everything that I get from mining. I have a food chest often. Um, I have like farming chest often too. That's a, that's that's usually there. I don't need this andesite, but I might as well grab it. Might add some nice access to certain things. Um. So yeah. You know, I have tools, I have, um, usually I have, um, they have a, oh, I usually, I sometimes have a valuables chest, that's why I put all, like, iron, uh, redstone, actually, that's, the, I can just make a mining chest for that stuff, that does fall under mining for me. I'm also gonna start a strip mine. We have a mobs drop chest too. Sometimes I do that. I don't often do that. Usually that falls under miscellaneous. You know. And I I have started making a grab and go chest, which is basically basically exactly what it sounds. When you go out on an adventure, you grab everything in that chest. You usually has a craft table, a furnace, some coal, some torches, pickaxe, sword, armor, compass. I don't think I might put a clock in there once. Um, you, it usually comes with a bed, too. Um, you know, just all that stuff. Let's get some more stone. Let's get two stacks of cobblestone. There we go. Press pre smoke. Cool. I want to get some diorite. I kind of look, like the look of diorite as well. I didn't find any. There's a whole way up there. There was some diorite down here. Yeah, that's the andesite. That's that right there. I'll grab some of that too. After I finish getting a couple stacks, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Two stacks of stone. I got uh, a one stack of granite. I'm gonna change all of that granite to polish granite. That was not a lot of diorite. Okay. I might. I don't need some more probably eventually because I use it. Um, okay, the squid died. Um, I usually use granite um, under um, in my strip mine just to make a pathway. I mean, diorite. I use granite from a basement. I maybe use diorite for a, a pathway in my strip mine just for the floor. And I usually have like, oh, diorite. Oh, diorite. Uh, there's a dark cave, but it's not quite night time, so I'll pop down here. Have this. A lot more die right here. I place that one torch. I don't see iron, I'm not going, it's just granite. And I, and I know where to go if I need more granite, but I don't need more, I don't know if I'll need more granite. I have over a stack, so I'll have the same amount of polished granite. But, 32 diorite, that will last me for a while. Half a stack of diorite. 
I just need to get out. There we are. More stuff here. Well, I know where to go, but let's head back. I don't want to be left out here. At night. Okay. I seem to be cutting it close lately. I'm gonna um, finish cutting down those um, after I sleep. Um, and um, if we finish out one axe, then I'll head over to the other side and continue it with um, the dark oak. There we go. Alright, let's throw this stuff in the chest here. Keep that with me. Throw this, this, and this there. Okay, perfect. There we are. Throw that in there. Okay. So, I'm gonna get this axe to be completely depleted. Then I'll go over and cut down a dark oak tree with um, the other axe. I'm gonna wait till it grows a little bit more. I don't necessarily need food quite yet. I will soon. <coughs> I'm probably gonna make a pen eventually. Once I get a carrot from a zombie drop, eventually that will happen. Unless I, or if I find a village, one of the two, I'll get a carrot one of the ways. And potato is one of the ways because potatoes are a great source of food. They usually grow pretty fast. And if you have a efficient farm, which I will eventually have, you can get a ton of potatoes and they last a decent while. They're not too bad on the saturation that they provide. I'm just getting some more oak because I'm gonna need some more oak to get those, um, get enough wood for building my house. It takes a ton of oak. Because it's gonna be mostly oak, the outside's gonna be mostly oak. I might use some actually oak log accents in it to just make it look pretty, I guess. I don't know. Alright. It's actually gonna break real soon. Alright, there we are, that broke. Just finish up with this tree. And eating some apples. Oh. And just do a whole one. I'm probably not gonna go deep in the forest. I don't think it's quite to the point of a roofed forest. Which are forests that are so large that they basically have a roof on them. Um, from all the trees that are there, they're so dense. Um, it might be a roof forest. Eventually, most of it seems to be dark oak forest right now. Let me go for this tree right here. It's a huge, huge tree. Let me try. I think I can get to the top of it and get and knock it down from there. Here we are at the top. Perfect. Okay. 
can really see how much wood there is now here with how much um you know when when I cut it down you can see that there is a ton of wood here more than you find in any normal tree. So much. Yeah, 36, just from that one tree. Okay, I just got a notification on my phone, just wanted to check it. Nothing important. But I think pretty soon I'm gonna stop. I got a ton of wood and I think I'm just about ready to stop. Gonna get the stuff on my farm, make some bread, and then we will be all set. There we are. The sun's going down. But anyway, I think we're gonna, gonna just throw this stuff in here. Look for the granite in here. The granite. This granite. And let's make some polished granite. I believe it's four, right? There we are. So that should give us uh, one and a half stacks of polished granite and let's grab the diorite we have let's make that polish diorite and I'll give us 32 polished diorite like that and we have and that it will end us for today. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching episode 3. I know it was in two parts, and it kind of got a little weird there in the middle where it just cut, like, randomly. Um, uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching episode 3 of Solo Survival. I'm going to 
get this all taken care of eventually. Um, anyway, but besides that, um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please slap the like button down below. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, um, to this channel, um, down below. Um, and stay tuned for more content. I'm probably going to get a ton of these videos done and then upload them once a week in the summer while I'm doing some stuff just so I have a backlog. I have episode one up, but not episode two quite yet at the time of recording. This is going to go up a few months in the future after I... After um, my after my class ends and my class in the summer starts. Um, besides that, uh, as you know, this was episode three. Slap that like button helps out a lot. Comment if you want to. I'll probably read them. Might be spawned. Um, and subscribe for more videos. Give me suggestions for what you want to see because I want to know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.